Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Uh, I want to show you the multi-lock key machine. Now this key machine is unique to just multi-lock. It only does multi-lock. You can't do any other type of keys except for multi-lock. And I'm going to take you around and just give you a quick tour of the machine. First of all, I'll start from the top. You've got a key gauge. Originally on the older machines you'd be able to put the key in and push down and it will show you what your code is. Now you have one of these very very accurate key gauges. So what you would do is simply just lift it, put it in and you could actually measure your cuts. From there you can work out what your cuts are. Your cuts on the left side go in uh, numbers, sorry letters and then numbers. The interesting thing about this key, particular key machine is it also does master keying as well so it does the side cuts. Now this key machine a lot of people won't show you because it is a restricted product. Uh, being that you have the key switch on the side so once that key is being removed the machine's inoperable. Um, this particular key machine also comes with the cover as well. High security cover, there it is there, multi-lock and it's just a machine for multi-lock and multi-lock only. Now I'm going to take you through and show you um, how to use it. First things first, you've got your letters on the side so you would set this depending on what your code is. In multi-lock they use the first bit which is letters and then they use the inner bit which is the numbers. On multi-lock interactive they skip the second cut on each one because that refers down to this particular part right here. If you can see it, you can't see it. That little part right there which is a floating element. So that that is actually skipped in the key cutting process. On the older model you just do all, all the five grooves. So that's the difference between multi-lock interactive and the standard multi-lock. Multi-lock in interactive is a high security platform and it gives you more security. Now when loading a key machine like this it's important that when you put the key in you loosen this knob off here, you slide it in from the side, I'll do this with one hand and hold the camera with one hand taking note that you actually butt up against this little point right here that's your key stop right there if you can see it okay so when I back this off I have to slide my key all the way in and then tighten it up if you don't get a good um, clamp or your spacing's wrong what can happen is you can cut into that floating element, element and it's different in different countries there it is there that round section on the key if you cut into that, you're going to wreck your cutters. As you can see here, the cutter and the cutter on this side, so that's your outer and that's your inner. Now, if you cut into that, you're pretty much going to wreck your cutters, which means you've got to remove them, replace them. I've already done that once. When you remove them, you simply slide them out, slide the new one in, push it all the way back, and tighten it up. So now this key's loaded in. I will turn my machine on like so. And then start to cut. When I cut, I lift this up once, twice, move on. Second cut I skip, third cut I move up like that. Moving all the way over to the inners, first cut, skip second, move to third, up, up, down until I've completed the key. Once I've completed the key, I remove it, I rotate it, I reinsert it, and I do that. If you come up with a key which has side cuts, this little S on the side symbolizes the side cut. So if it has, let's say, five side cuts, I would put them all to the S function. I would loosen my jaw here and put my key in sideways. Push it all the way in. Now, one thing I have noticed with this key machine is you've got to keep it clean. I, use, I like to use a spike like this, and I'll show you how much just comes out just by that. don't know if you can see that or not, but you do get crumbs in there. And if you get crumbs in there, you're not going to get an accurate key. So cleaning this machine down is, is critical. As you can see here, I haven't kept it as clean as I should. So putting it in the side there, we can now do our side cuts. We turn the machine on, bang, bang, and we will cut whichever side cuts we want. Each position here you can see, so you can only do it in that one position. If you do try and cut uh, the floating element, it should stop you bit hard to see there it is there should stop you but not always it does and especially if your spacing is out you haven't inserted your key properly you can cut into that floating element and completely wreck your machine um, the cutters way expensive for a cutter but they are what they are so you don't want to wreck them moving around the back of the machine now 
I can see down the back here we have an 8 amp circuit breaker on and off and our standard kettle plug okay up the top here we have our fan and it is exposed so this area would need to be away from brass and kept as clean as possible because you do not want to suck um, brass filings into the machine this machine here is a high security machine used for one purpose and one purpose only to cut multi-lock keys on saying that um, you know you can do it on different machines but you most likely wouldn't be as easy or you wouldn't get the accuracy these machines are very expensive so everything about them needs to be done you know and, and done right otherwise you wreck the machine and it'll cost you a lot of money so that's the multi-lock uh, key machine the new generation um, there is a black model which is a black and silver model which has the little things up the back that's the older generation um, they generally do about the same thing there is another model that only has one on one side but you know this is the this is the best model here so that's the multi-lock interactive key machine and this is a new model here it's only about a year old and um, that's the first look at it and if you've got any comments put them in put them down below thanks for watching